Hi, it's Dwyer. Gamblersadvisory.com, free site. Bettingangle.us, free site. It is Sunday, February the 3rd, 2019, Super Bowl Sunday. Let's talk about just a few prop bets that I like for the Super Bowl. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let me just say, picking a side, I think New England is the better team. I think Tom Brady and the New England Patriots are in the winner's circle and win this game, right? I like the Patriots to win. I also like the Patriots laying two and a half points, right? So understand, I view this as a Patriot win right? I also think that while the Patriots typically start slow in Super Bowls, I'm expecting the Rams, young quarterback, young head coach, I'm expecting the Rams to be completely overwhelmed in the first half of this game, right? I've heard players talk about how They've shown up to a Super Bowl. They can't even feel their legs, right? They don't even settle into being able to play their normal games until they've been hit a few times in the game. So I'm expecting the Rams to start slow. And with that in mind, the first prop bet I like are the Rams under 13 and a half points for the first half. Right, I'm not going to take the under for both teams because New England started fast against Kansas City, didn't they? New England started fast against San Diego, didn't they? Right? I'm going to take the New England side out of this. I'm just going to focus on the Ram total for the first half. And I like the under 13 and a half points for the Rams in the first half of this game. Now, once the game settles in, it's indoors, it's pristine condition for passers, right? No wind to deal with and stuff like that. So, given Tom Brady's 500 plus yard passing performance in last year's Super Bowl, Given Tom Brady's 300 plus yard passing performance against KC, right? Given the fact that Jared Goff himself was close to 300 yards against the Saints, I like the over 566 and a half passing yards for the game. Right again, the over 566 and a half passing yards for the game. Right? Understand the Rams secondary, not that great. The Rams have played in some shootout games this year. The trend in the NFL is to outscore you. Right? Even quarterbacks who have been in slumps like Philip Rivers, for example, put up decent numbers when he played the Patriots. Take a look at that box score. Revisit it. I think the 566 and a half is a little bit low. Understand, if Brady gets the numbers he got against KC, and if Goff gets the numbers he got against the Saints, you're well over the 566 and a half passing yards. So I like the over for that. Right? Let's continue. It's the Super Bowl. You know, the trend in recent Super Bowls has been to favor high-scoring teams. You remember that Atlanta New England shootout, especially in the second half of that game? You remember last year, right? The Philly New England shootout. Well, here, I like the over in the game, just on the over-under line, right? It's in the mid-50s. But you have alternative overs that pay you even more. So in addition to the normal over, I like the over 
61 and a half points. Folks, you're getting a plus 140 on that. Right? Plus 140. And all I'm saying is just look at the points that the Patriots put up and allowed in their last game against Kansas City. Just look at the offensive numbers from last year's Super Bowl. Again, these teams are playing indoors. Let me also point out that you have playmakers on both sides of the ball. Did you know that New England against KC had something like 36 first downs? 36 first downs. Right? So both of these teams are playing offensive football. The Rams have guys who can get big yards in chunks. Right? Todd Gurley, very nice yards per carry, just a smidge under five. Brandon Cooks, home run hitter. Look at his yards per catch. Right? High octane offenses, both playing indoors. I'm expecting a high scoring game. I like the over 61 and a half points at a plus 140. And of course, I like the over 56 and a half points at a minus 110 on the regular over under. For the adventuresome out there, you might even want to consider the over 65 and a half points. That pays a plus 200. Finally, in a matchup of quarterbacks, right? Some casinos are offering mythical Brady versus Goff numbers, right? Folks, Tom Brady right now is still in his prime. He's putting up ungodly numbers. Statistically, he had the best Super Bowl any quarterback has had in Super Bowl history last year. Right? Revisit that box score. He's coming off of a game as good as the rushing attack was in KC. Right? We remember Rex Burkhead and some other runs. Um, Sony Michelle, as good as the rushing game was. Understand, Tom Brady's been putting up huge passing numbers. So I like Tom Brady to have more than five and a half more gross passing yards than Jared Goff. Right? I think Brady's the man. I think Brady is playing in a Tom Brady event. We call it the Super Bowl. Right? I think Tom has been shining of late. I think the current rules and the allowance of what we call rub routes or pick routes, whatever you want to call it, um, as well as Tom's familiarity with Julian Edelman, makes Tom awfully hard to stop. I think this guy is a great player. I think the five and a half gross passing yards is low. I'm expecting Tom Brady to pass for more yards than Jared Cook and to pass for more than five and a half more gross passing yards than Jared, excuse me, than Jared Goff. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. If there are prop bets that you like, that you want to share with the public, I hope you leave them in the comment section to this video and give us the reasons why. Enjoy the game and thanks for stopping by.